numerous rides. Barnyard basketball at its finest now. Watch him win the win. Plenty of games. Happy winner right here. Music that you can dance to. <laughs> A plethora of livestock exhibits. And even duck herding demonstrations. Seven dollars. I need. These attractions draw thousands to the Kentucky State Fair every year. But there is one draw that ensnares probably all of us. Fair food. It can be sweet, salty, or savory. There is such a variety of confections that it's important to come up with a strategy. First, you want to make sure to have something from each of the four basic fair food groups: cotton candy corn dogs, Italian sausage, and chocolate fudge. In 1991, Barry Burnson discovered some new treats that have now become fair staples. Fresh roasted corn is processed in a revolving roaster for 29 minutes. When it's served, fairgoers have the option, butter, pepper, or salt. I think it's different, and it's wholesome, nutritious. And it's, uh, it's kind of country, too. Isn't it's it? country, yes it is. The Greater Tater takes an Idaho potato spun by a drill while it's cut and drops in oil for 40 seconds. When it's done, the choices are vinegar or ketchup to top it off. Maintains that soft, chewy texture of the inside of a french fry combined with that light crispiness of a fresh cut potato chip, something that you just can't get anywhere else. Regardless of what food they're serving, vendors work long, hard hours and go through a large quantity of ingredients just trying to feed the crowd's ferocious appetites. How many chickens have you gone through so far today? About 500 pounds, okay. between five and 600. We started at eight o'clock this morning cooking. That hard work helps garner repeat customers. Did you come to the fair just to get a corn dog? Yes, as a matter of fact, this is my second time here tonight, this, you know, this year to get a corn dog. But the fair food isn't just consumed. What are you looking for first is a thin shell. It's also judged. If you have a thick shell, even if the meat is good, it still gives you a problem there. Everything from nuts. It's really good, tastes good, and mm, it's pretty good. Very good two apples. We have to be able to identify the fruit from the appearance of it rather than the taste. To pumpkins. Pretty good sad melon. A lot, lot of pumpkin pie there. <laughs> to cakes. This one has a real pleasing taste. Yes, that was that the other one. one. In 1996, Julie Koenig found out the qualities of a blue ribbon cake. You look for appearance and then you look for texture. And uh, then you, of course, you look for taste. A tough job that challenges your taste buds and your stomach. How many do you think you've already sampled this morning? Oh. These experienced veterans know the tricks of the trade. Usually black coffee. Cleansing their palate between the tastings. Uh, potato chips are nice at lunch. Still, they'll tell you the work has its drawbacks. I do not want dessert for dinner.